Welcome to my channel. My name is Genevieve and this is Thunderbird Handcrafted. Uh, I am excited to share with you today what I am making. We are going to be going through the different um, things I've made for my upcoming first ever cruise. Uh, and so I'm going to be sharing my fish hanger gifts. I guess sometimes they're called pixie dust gifts on a Disney cruise, which is where what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to show you some of the bags I've made. I've also been dabbling in apparel. I want to show you those, but I am going to show you how to make two of the fish hanger gifts that I am making today. So I'm hoping that you will stay tuned, that you will share with me. If you've been on a cruise, share with me your tips, your um, support, your um, recommendations for packing. Uh, it was only a three day cruise. So hopefully um, it's, we don't get stranded. I mean, Castaway Key would probably be a good place to get stranded. Um, but share with me in the comments and I'll share with you these two um, fish hanger um, items that I made. Um, I just kind of self-drafted them up myself uh, and they're, they're quick and easy. So subscribe, like, comment, and let's get to the sewing part. All right, so the first um, thing that I'll share with you is um, we'll do the sewing stuff first. I'll leave, I'll put at the end, that way if you wanna get to sewing these, you can get right to sewing these. Um, but I'll put at the end the other things that I've made. Uh, and some of the um, items I did sew in a live. So if you haven't catched any of my lives, my um, YouTube lives, please go and check those out as well. It's pretty much what I've been doing a lot more lately since our fabric business has continued to grow. Um, lives are just much easier for me than pre-recorded. But I'm gonna try to still get at least one, if I can, one pre-recorded video on here a month um, for you all. So, all right, so the first thing is all of us, you know, we're addicted to reusable cups, um, whether it's the Stanley versions or our Starbucks cold cups or um, any, really anything. We, how many, if you go and count how many you have in your, in your cabinet, I'm sure it's more than one. So I decided um, I really loved a pattern that I saw um, elsewhere that was an in the hoop embroidery pattern but I don't have an embroidery machine. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna figure a way to make something like that um, just with my my regular, my industrial or my domestic machine. And so I came up with these little fun pouches that have these kind of like elastic-y bands and I'll pin um, in the details, I'll post all of the links for the different things I used um, for these. So. I put one of these rubber bands at the top so it will like go over the lip of this like so and then I put another one down below here so that it would hold on to the bottom. There's this little fun, I think this is like if you have keys or something because they're like little metal but they're just beads and since I'm going on a Disney cruise I added a little Mickey head but he ends up being upside down but whatever. It could be like a little keychain if someone wants to take that off. It's just these little wired, um, like, I don't know, bands. And then, um, I found, <laughs> I found these also, these are like charms from, um, Amazon. And then my zipper pulls, they're from Dream Big. Uh, and they have a thing that you can put any charm on the end of a zipper pull. So that was pretty cool. So I decided to get those from Dream Big. Uh, and then my vinyl is, literally vinyl. Um, this is from My Little Shindig, um, my so bestie who we are going on the cruise together. And then the inside isn't lined or anything. It's just a little pouch to be able to put a few things, um, you know, while you're out and about on the deck, right? Or at baseball games, kids, sports, going in the town, whatever it might be. Um, but it stays on there and it's just this cute little pouch. So that is the first thing that I'm gonna share with you um, how I made. And like I said, I'll make sure all these little add-ons and like the extra little pieces, um, I do link those in the details below for you. Okay, so the pieces you need for your little pouches, okay? Your cuts from your vinyl and your zipper cuts, the measurements. All right, so you, we need one piece 
that is five and a half by six and a half. Okay, this is your back. So the back is five and a half by six and a half. Then you need two pieces for the, the front um, that are two and three quarters by six and a half. So two, two and three quarters by six and a half pieces. All right. You need a, I cut my zipper tape seven inches. Okay. That way it's a little bit hanging over the edge, <clears throat> you know, so seven inches. And then when we go to do our boxed area, all right, you're going to box these beforehand, you know, after, um, after we have the zipper attached here, then we're going to go and we're going to box our corners one inch. Okay. So one inch boxed corners. And then from there, it's pretty simple. So we're going to get to sewing. I'm going to sew one up with you. That way, you know how to make it. All right. So I did forget to say that you're going to need two pieces of um, the um, elastic, whatever elastic you want. If you want fancy foldable elastic like this, um, I did see that Kasaya over at Saya Swag um, is now carrying this in a lot of different colors. So you could get it there. Um, so these two pieces of these that are two and a half inches. I have my zipper um, with my charm. So again, if you want to add charms to zipper pulls, the zipper pulls are over at Dream Big. I have two of my elastic pieces that will go around the cup. So you can get those off of Amazon. And then I have my little accent that I made. Um, all of these are from Amazon as well. And then I have my zipper tape. All right, so I'm gonna first put my zipper, pull on my zipper tape. And hopefully it goes on there smoothly. Usually not, my fingers aren't working yet today. There we go. Okay, and then I just wanna burn down a little bit of these on the edges just so that it doesn't fray and here's mr apollo hello my child how are you all right so now really simple because again when you're doing at least what i felt when you were doing fish hanger gifts um you want them to be pretty straightforward simple easy you're making a bunch of them so you don't want it to take a whole bunch of your time or a lot of supplies so all you're gonna do is we're gonna put double-sided tape on both sides of our zipper, okay? Like so. I'm gonna pull one side off. I wanna make sure that my, if, you're, if your vinyl is directional, you make sure that you're going the right direction. And then I'm just going to place it in that it's a quarter inch away from my zipper. And then we're just gonna top stitch that with a quarter inch seam allowance. Straight down, back stitch a little bit at the beginning and the end. my tension a little too tight there but we'll loosen that up we'll get it right for the other side and then we're going to do the other side make sure that my fabric is or my vinyl is going the right direction all right So there we have our exterior. Our exterior is done. That's all you're going to do. Now we're going to flip it over, flip both of them over, your exterior and, um, well, your front and your back. And then I'm just going to take my Okaroots 
ruler here, my little ruler, and I'm just gonna draw one inch box corners here. I'm just gonna draw one inch on all four of the front and on the back. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're gonna do the back. And like I said, this is just something I thought, well, this is easy <laughs> and it can be done in no time. So we're just gonna cut our little one inch boxes out of the sides. And I think if it's easy like this, you can get a bunch of them done all at, you know, one time. And they can squish down in your luggage too. Like it's a nice big, it's kind of a big gift, but it's not um, something that's going to take up a bunch of space in your, you know, in your luggage. So then we're going to get our, our uh, elastic. We're going to get one of our little rubber bandies, okay? We're going to clip that to the top here. And then for the bottom, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add our little accent piece, okay? Add that guy in there too, okay? We're gonna clip that to the center here. Now, if you wanted to, you could stay stitch this down. I just um, took some washi tape to hold down, like hold down those rubber bands while I'm sewing. You could even, because these on screw, if you didn't wanna, if you were worried about um, sewing this, all right, you could take that out of there because it'll unscrew and you can, but the rubber bands you can't do that with. So we'll take this off for now and we'll put it on later. And then we just washi taped that down. Now we're going to take our back. You want to find your center of your back. And again, if your vinyl is directional, just make sure that it's going in the direction you want it to go. Clip that on center. Clip that on center. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to sew down our sides. At a quarter inch seam allowance. And across the bottom. the other side you could clip it in place if you 
<clears throat> feel you need to. clip all your threads off your corners okay and then we're just gonna box our corners I just I don't know, like I said it's real real easy peasy okay you probably want to put your um, corners and you might have a little edge hanging here I just cut that off all right, and it just clip your corners, and then we're gonna lay it down, squish it, so that we can do a quarter inch seam allowance here. Okay. Do the same over on this one. sure it's flush. Hold it with a clippy. Taping those rubber bands really does help keep them out of the way. Okay. So there you have it. It should look like a little inside out, an inside box. <laughs> then you're just going to pull your finger here to open your zipper. Turn it right side out. Your tape will probably come off. Push your push your corners out. But this I think is nice just for something like if you're to put on your water bottle if you're by the And there we have it. There's our little pouch. We can add our little decoration to the bottom. It's basically a boxy bag with extra goodies, right? So let's just see how this one looks. All right, so I take my rubber band and put it around my cup. Open this one up here. And these rubber bands just are nice because they're kind of sticky, so they, they hold it where it needs to be. And there you go. So that's my first fish extender gift that I'm doing. I don't know what should we call it. I don't even have a name for it, you guys. Let's, you guys help me, help me think of a name. Help me think of a name of this. And maybe eventually we can make some templates or something. So the other fish hanger gift that I wanted to do um, 
Well, I was trying to think of something with some clear vinyl because I had a bunch of it. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely, just like everything else in our in our fabric stashes, we can get addicted to like one thing and be like, oh, I'll use that, I'll use that. And then it sits there. Um, and so I had, I had, I had, I still have, um, but I had a bunch of clear vinyl and I was like, I just want some little simple project, right? Um, so I thought I had a bunch of these little key fob rings, right? I was like, oh, I can make keychains, right? But probably a lot of people are gonna do some sort of keychain. I wanted my keychains to be a little different. So I made a pen holder keychain just with some clear vinyl. Again, like I said, these are not fancy, they're useful. <laughs> um, but I did find um, some really cool pens on Amazon. I'll put the link for you guys. Um, they're glitter pens that smell, they're smelly. So like each different pen has like a different, you know, like this one's watermelon and this one is grape. Um, and then I used tags from the Heart Wouldn't Hide and I tried to use all of their like Disney inspired tags that were like long that I had. So I, I used Loki um, and then I also had some Olaf. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're making. So this is super simple. Um, and I'll share with you the measurements, uh, the measurement of the fabric, um, of the clear vinyl and we'll go from there. All right. So my clear vinyl is one inch by 12 inches. It's basically the length of the vinyl that I had. So if you have 12 inch rolls, that's what I did. So, um, this was like Disney snack, um, clear vinyl. All I did was I folded the top over an inch, okay? And then I folded the top up to meet it and just overlap about a quarter, about a quarter inch, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fold this down a half of an inch and then fold this up to just overlap that piece about a quarter inch. But before that we do that, we're gonna put our tag on. So we'll do that first. So I always put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back of my tags, just to hold them in place while I'm sewing. And I, I kind of just eyeballed this, um, but it's probably about an inch and a half um, down is where I put the tag. And then try to center it as much as possible. So then we're going to top stitch this tag on. should have been this a little bit tighter, but it's all right. And then pull through your well now, fingers aren't working. There we go. Oh, that isn't it. Oh, come on. There we go. Knock this off in the back. Okay, and then we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna fold this down about an inch and a half, and we're gonna um, 
overlap that about a quarter inch, right? Yes. And I'm gonna clip that in place on the one side. And then I'm just going to top stitch this all the way around. Make my tension a little tighter because I'm going just on the um, clear canvas and I think I ran out of bobbin. So we need a bobbin. And I also feel like these types of gifts, don't get me wrong, you want them to look nice, but I'm just using up some bobbin that I have here. So. All right. just gonna clip that pull those through to the other side and knot those off come on edge down those threads down and now I'm gonna go and clamp this to the top of that and now we have a nice little key fob pen holder because it can slip in that little pocket that's on the top and then there you go. So I made a bunch of these. These are gonna go in people's fish extenders for the exchange. So the last thing that I'm doing for the fish extenders is I'm doing, and I, I probably feel like this might be something a lot of other people will do too, but you know what? It was easy, I could sit, I could watch um, my favorite shows. I forget what I was watching while I was doing this. Probably a documentary or, um, oh, probably Bridgerton. I was re-watching that because I was preparing for the new season to come out, um, but um, I made a bunch of friendship bracelets. And with the fish extenders, you know, people put in like who their favorite characters are for like a Disney cruise. So like some of them I put, um, let's see, let's see if I can find. So here's one, someone said that they liked Spider-Man. So I got little Disney um, Mickey head beads and then I used the colors and I wrote Spider-Man. Um, someone said they like Chewbacca. So there's a Chewbacca one. Um, someone said they like Groot. So I put like, I am Groot and I did all green. Um, some said Simba. So there's Simba. Um, Olaf. So those are gonna go in the in like the people who are in my um, actual like 
Fish Extender Exchange Group, okay? Then I, um, because uh, it's a cruise with a bunch of girlfriends, um, I did one that says Cruise Besties. Um, it is with Okra Roots, so I have Okra Rooty on here. Um, I did um, So Bestie, um, so it's a sewing cruise. Let me see if I did any other ones that were like generic. Um, Disney Wish, because that's the ship we're on. So like those will be my pixie dust ones that aren't necessarily the people in my specific group. So I made a bunch of these. Um, <laughs> I have a ton of them and I'll probably make more before, before I go in all different sizes because these are easy to pack. Um, and I, I'll share with you, I bought two kits off of Amazon. I bought one kit with a whole bunch of letters and I bought another kit that had, um, just the beads. Okay. And then, like I said, I bought a pack that had like these little Mickey eared beads. So those are my three fish extender gifts that I'm going to be doing. So I hope you like them. And I would love if, if you do make any of these, I mean, obviously the bracelets are not anything of mine. They're friendship bracelets. Um, but if you make the little pen, uh, key fobs, if you make the, um, uh, the cup, uh, pouches, share them over in the group. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, if you like this or if you have questions about it, please post those in the comments. Like I said, I'll try to make sure all of the details, um, that you, I have links for all the things that I used to make these. Uh, and now I'll get to showing you the other things that I made for my first ever Disney cruise. So since we're bag makers and we're going on a Disney cruise, obviously I've made bags. <laughs> so the first bag I made, I actually made this a Valentine's Day. Um, Katie from My Little Shindig, she is my sewing bestie, okay? Um, I have several, but um, she's my sewing shop bestie and we've just created such a great friendship and I love her so, so much. Um, so for Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, I made both of us a Tracy wristlet. It's literally, I if I had time, I'd be making way more of these. And I feel like it's such a good bag for those of you who are doing craft fairs, because I know many of you um, do that. This is a great bag for that, because I feel like it would sell because of its versatility. And also, like I've told you time and time before, Lynn's handmade patterns are the best batchable patterns I've found so far. So I made us each with some Tula um, for Valentine's Day. So since it had best friend, um, I thought it was perfect. Hers is in pink, mine is in teal because those are our um, favorite colors. On the back, I did some uh, free hand sewing, put bestie. Uh, we have a little tag on the back. We have some tassels, the tassel um, Jolie Lee Creations uh, has the little tassel template. And then also um, this, the zipper pulls are from Saya to be able to do the tassels. It has a wristlet, but then, and I have in here, I have all my jewelry in here. <laughs> that I'm taking on the cruise. But on the inside, I put my hand dyed fabric. It has card places. Um, it's just like, it has a, one little interior zipper. Um, it's just super cute. I used some of my mint julep hand dyed fabric on mine. And then I used the um, hibiscus um, fabric, dyed fabric for Katie's. And then it has one of these strap, a uh, silver strap, um, that you can use it as a crossbody, or I'm pretty sure this is the way we're going to wear them because we, we have this like awesome surprise, um, outfit for the one night that we've been like coordinating. You can also wear it as a belt bag if I can reach myself because this metal strap will go through the D rings and clip on. So it's like such a cute, fun, versatile bag. And what I did since I used quilt cotton for the front is I actually took um, some of my little shindig clear vinyl, clear, uh, yeah, clear vinyl TPU, and I added some Disney um, sprinkles from Happy Kauai Supplies. So this is the first bag I made for the cruise. I'm very excited about it. 
And if you haven't done the Tracy wristlet from Lens Handmade, it's definitely a bag that you need to try. So there's the, there's the first one I made. Okay, I lied. That wasn't the first one that I made. Um, the first one that I made was actually our live sew on New Year's Day. I made the large, the, the big one of the transponder tote by Sincerely Jen. Um, and I used one of my bestie, Katie. Um, she has these great water resistant canvas panel sets where you get like, this is the panel. Like you get two of those, okay? Then you get a coordinating print and then you get another coordinating print. So this was, and I made this specifically because they said, when you come back from Castaway Key, Key, Castaway Key, or um, like your excursions, they hand you towels. And I thought this would be a great bag for the day when we're off on our excursion shopping, um, or you know, for that purpose, like to take our beach towels and all of that um, off the ship. So I made a nice crossbody strap for it, um, and then it has nice totes. It has just a panel zipper here. I did not put any interior zippers in it. I just lined it with some of my hand dyed fabric and some of my Disney print that I did. And then it has two big exterior pockets. So this was a beast. The live is there if you want to watch the live. It did take all day for me to sew this bag live. Um, but I, I'm really glad I have a big bag like this to be taking off the ship. So that is another one of the makes that I've done for the cruise. The next thing I made was another lens handmade pattern, go figure. Um, this is the family travel wallet, uh, and this is also a live. I used some of the leftover fabric um, from the panel kits that um, Katie has over in her shop uh, to do the exterior. Then on the interior, I have some of my Disney print that I designed that's in our shop. It has a nice little zipper, place for your passport, place for cards. Um, and so I just thought this would be a nice, it also holds my Kindle, um, which is great. You can put your Kindle in here. So that will be going in there as well. So this is the Family Travel Wallet by Lynn's Handmade. And I do have a live sew along for that here on the channel as well. Obviously, if you're gonna do fish extenders, you need something to collect your fish extenders. So um, Jess over at Oka Roots, she has a great tutorial. Um, that's why I did not do a tutorial for this or a live sew, um, but I made Katie's and my fish extender hanger. Uh, and so uh, the way that I met Katie is she has this amazing taco fabric over on her website. And that was about two and a half years ago that in the summer I saw this taco fabric. I saw people making these cool bags with all the different layers of a taco. And I was like, I need that fabric. You know how it goes, right? Um, and so I bought every layer of the taco. Uh, and then she also had the taco um, TPU. So then I bought that from her and I've just had it and had it and had it and wasn't sure what I was gonna make. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? I'm making our fish extender with taco fabric. Um, so I made this really cool fish extender. It is the Oka Roots pattern. Um, and then I added our initials on a Meet Mickey. <laughs> um, there is some sprinkles, some Happy Kauai taco sprinkles in there. Katie's the cheese, I'm the salsa. Um, and then I put um, some of the um, Heartwood and Hyde tags and put Oak Cruise Besties at the top. So if Oak Roots ever, if Jess ever does another one, we'll have our fish extender. Um, so this was just a really fun sew. Uh, and I hadn't really done anything with grommets before, so that was pretty cool. So I highly suggest you go over and watch that video. And then Katie always keeps her taco fabric in stock so if you want the taco fabric um like me i still have a ton of it and i just feel like this was one of the this, this was perfect it, it kind of is the culmination of katie's and my friendship together <laughs> the other thing that i wanted to make for myself um i used to travel a lot for work when i worked in the fashion industry i did travel a lot then uh, and you know over time your travel organizers do get they just get you know yucky 
even if you can rinse them out or, or wipe them down or wash them. And so I really wanted a, a little bit of a different like toiletry bag than what I had because I kind of had like a train case toiletry bag. So then I found the Nimue um, by Studio 77. Is that correct? Um, and I had this great, uh, you guys know I'm a, I'm a Potter head. Uh, and prior to my cruise, I'm going to be going to Harry Potter World the night before. Uh, I, pers I, I got a ticket. I'm only getting in there around 3 o'clock, but I'm going to Harry Potter World. Uh, and so I made the Nimue. Uh, and I kind of, I did a little bit of different, the, the zipper was supposed to be down here. I put it this way. So that way, you know, I can hang it up and get everything. So I can have all my toiletries here, all my hair and makeup stuff here. Um, and it is very Harry Potter-ish, um, which I love. So I made this as well. This pattern was a little bit of a challenge, um, but I got through it. And then I did add here just because I figured I could maybe put like, um, you know, like a name card or something in here. So that way, if I do ever lose it, it's like right there. I did put a little piece of clear vinyl with some of uh, one of Jade and Chris's tags that the heart wouldn't hide. And then I also, um, this uh, made with magic, that's from Lauren over at uh, Mormi Now. Uh, and then the vinyl um, was originally from... Um, Sophie Ray fabrics, but you can now get these prints from Nancy over at Fabric Therapy. So if you're looking for this um, map, Harry Potter, Mooney and Prongs, um, you can get that over there. And then the straps are from Dream Big, which I'm, I really love this now that I had it done, but I will tell you it was a little bit of a challenging, it was a little bit of a challenging sew, but I got through it. If you have been watching my stories over on Instagram, then you know I've been dabbling with apparel sewing. Um, we started offering with our print fabrics, we do offer a eco-organic knit, which is like a really nice soft knit. We offer a sport lycra. Um, we offer a large box thermal. Uh, and then um, we also offer a gauze, a like double layer gauze, which is like a nice flowy fabric. Um, and so I had had, I had bought this fabric, this knit fabric from Sophie Ray, who again, you can get these prints now over at Fabric Therapy. Um, and we are a big um, Ratatouille family. We love Ratatouille. So I made myself the classic tea by Love Notions with my Ratatouille fabric. And then I was like, I need a bag. I need a Ratatouille bag. And so, <laughs> I had some prints, some Sophie Ray prints, and then um, I found this bag pattern over on Etsy that was a triangle. Um, I forget the name of it. I'll put, I'll post the link for it in the details. Um, but I made myself a cheese bag. So this is my one of our patterns, one of our print patterns. I uh, and so I had it on brush car brush cotton, and then I had some of Sophie Ray's Ratatouille prints. Um, so I just, I needed to make myself a little ratatouille bag. It's binded on the inside with some of fabric therapy, um, binding. Um, but I just thought it was so cute and it'll, it'll be just cute for one night for dinner or one day when we're out on the ship. Um, so that's my ratatouille. And then the last thing I made, um, apparel wise is I made myself a maxi dress with some of my hand dyed fabric. So this was our second breakfast. This is an eco organic knit on the top. And then I had some print of our rainbow floral in yellow. Um, and this is on the double layered organic gauze. And so I made myself this kind of maxi sundress. It does have pockets in the sides. Um, again, this is uh, the maxi dress from Love Notions. And I think this will just be a really great cover up if we're just kind of laying on the ship um, you know, at the pool. Um, so yeah, so I made myself a dress, which I was very proud of myself with this. I think if the, ne the next time I make this now, don't get me wrong, it fits really nice, but it is like very fitting here in my hips, which is fine. I think I would maybe make, um, the bottom one size bigger for myself. Um, just to give me, give me a little bit more room there, but I can sit and lay in it and it's fine. But um, this was a fun, and I did all of the apparel sewing on my domestic because right now Mo, my serger, he's down. He's waiting for a new new plate. 
So this was just a really fun learning experience to make myself some clothing. Uh, and so those are the things I have made so far for my first ever cruise. I hope you've enjoyed learning the two um, little sewing items that I made for my fish extenders for the cruise um, that I'm going on. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the other things that I've made for my first ever cruise. I do still have a few other items that I have planned <laughs> in my brain that I would like to make if I have the time to do so. Um, but uh, even if I don't, I feel like I've made myself some really cool pieces uh, that I'll use over and over again. Like the bags I'll definitely be using over and over again. The, cl the clothes I'll definitely be using over and over again. And I feel like my fish extender um, different give gifts are things that people will enjoy and love. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you'll subscribe if you're here. Definitely go over and join my free Facebook group if you would like to be a part of my Patreon. Each month I do share um, very specific things to like the trends that are happening right now um, out in the fashion world. Uh, and then join us over in the Facebook group. We have a, a quarterly pre-order of different prints that we have here. Every month I release new hand-dyed fabrics uh, and I try this time of year, this, this video is posting in the early spring. As summer hits, I am outside dyeing fabric. So it's very difficult for me to do recorded videos during that time. But from like end of fall to through the winter, hopefully we'll be able to do some more recorded videos. I'm going to try to do some, do at least one live every month for you all but I just really appreciate your support and being here a part of my channel. And remember that sewing is the healing part and it's just supposed to be fun. So make sure your sewing is fun too. All right, have a great and beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you.